Hi, my name is Nathan. I am one of the developers working on the virtual NAS project for the VATSIM network. And today I'm going to demonstrate one of the new features coming to CRC's ASDX ground radar mode, and that is temporary data. Temporary data allows controllers to define closed and restricted areas, as well as annotate the base video map with text annotations. For this demonstration, I have opened up a Boston ground ASD profile. And because some of the temporary data features are global, meaning they affect the displays of all controllers using a facility's ASD system, I also have a smaller secondary window that will depict what other controllers will see when we use some of the temporary data features. Temporary data can be accessed through the temp data submenu on a DCB. The first feature we'll look at is the ability to define closed areas. For this demonstration, I will mark this runway as closed by left clicking points of a polygon around the runway and to close the polygon, middle clicking. Note that polygons can only have up to 20 sides, and if more than 20 points are placed, the polygon will automatically close. We can see this area is now depicted as closed with a red outline and red diagonal lines throughout, and other controllers will also see this area as closed. Next, I'll define a restricted area, which works very much the same way. Again, left-clicking to place polygon points, and then middle-clicking to complete the polygon. Again, other controllers will also see the restricted area that we just created. Next, I'll demonstrate the ability to define a text annotation. If I click Define Text, the preview area will prompt us to enter either one or two lines of text. For this example, we'll say that this area is being used for DI's procedures. I'll press Enter to confirm the text, and now left-click to place the text on the video map. We can see that this text annotation has been added to both controllers' displays. However, in our display, we can see the data block is oriented to the northwest, while the other controller sees the data block oriented to the northeast. And this is because the text data blocks take on the same properties as data blocks attached to an aircraft target. That is, we can set the position of the data block using the global setting, such as pressing 9 for the northeast, or by setting an individual data block, such as by pressing 8 for north and slewing on the text. We can also change the leader length by using the leader length button in the DCB. And text can be toggled on or off by left-clicking on the target, or by using the data block on or off button. Additionally, temporary text that is placed within a data block trait area will take on the traits of that data block trait area. Sometimes it may be handy to hide temporary data, such as if a controller adds temporary data that you do not wish to display on your display. To hide temporary data, click Hide Data, then left-click Data to highlight it, then middle-click to confirm the selection. We can see that the temporary data is hidden from our display, but remains visible on another controller's display. Hidden data can be viewed again by pressing the Show Hidden Data button. Unlike data block trait areas, temporary data can overlap. To delete temporary data, press Delete Global, then left-click temporary data to highlight it, and middle-click to confirm. Note that this is a global operation, meaning the data is removed on all controllers' displays. Finally, I'll demonstrate the Stored Global Temporary Data presets. Clicking the Stored Global Temp Data button, we can see all 88 preset slots available. To save temporary data to a preset, click Save, then left-click the data. We can see that ASD has already filled in set number 1 because it is the first available set. I can scroll or use arrow down to move to title and type in a title. I'll then press enter to confirm. Now this closed area is being saved in the runway 1-4 preset under set number 1. This set is automatically made active as indicated by the orange text. If I wish to turn a preset off, I can click on the preset and the temporary data will be removed. Note that this is a global operation. We can see that the other controller also sees this preset as removed or deactivated. To reactivate this preset, I can simply left-click on the button 
Again, this is a global operation and all controllers will see this preset as being re-enabled. Temporary data saved in a preset can also be hidden by using the hide data feature. However, this does not deactivate the temporary data preset. That's because presets are activated on a global level. We can see the other controller's display still has that preset as active. If I click the Runway 1.4 preset again, it will unhide the data but not change the state of the preset. If I left click on the preset another time, it will deactivate the preset on a global level. If I delete temporary data that is associated with a preset, it will remove that temporary data from all displays. However, it will not delete the preset itself, and the preset can be re-enabled simply by clicking on the presets button. If I wish to delete the preset, press delete preset, and then either type in a set number or click on the preset button. To confirm, press two. Now the preset is deleted, but the temporary data is still visible. To delete the temporary data, click delete global and delete the temporary data. Note that all temporary data that is not saved in a preset will be automatically removed once all controllers have logged out of ASDI. If you wish to have data persist between controlling sessions, make sure you save it in a temporary data preset. I hope this brief overview was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the Discord. I'll post a link in the description below.